to have him here back from college. Give it up for Isa O'Neill. Uh, thank you. Uh, so I'm a freshman in college. Um, the high school I graduated from was Stuyvesant High School. Thank you, thank you. It's uh, the best high school in this state. It is nationally famous for the high suicide rate. Which is great. I love the challenge. <laughs> I'm glad I'm moving on to college now. I didn't have the best social life in high school. I remember one time I asked a girl out, and she said she just wanted to stay friends. Then I said, um, but uh, we're not friends. <laughs> I once asked out a very thoughtful girl. She told me she'd think about it. <laughs> I once asked a girl out in freshman year, and she, and she said no. So I asked her out again in senior year. And she said she was glad I asked her out again. She was worried she wasn't clear enough the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I once asked a girl out. And she said yes, and uh, she asked me where I'd like to take her. And that took me by surprise. I had never gotten this far before. <laughs> so I told her I'd get back to her on that. And when I came up with a location, I ran to tell her. I said, Cindy, Cindy, I came up with a location for our date. And she said, Isa, I agreed to go out with you in middle school. <laughs> The university I go to is American University, and it has a reputation for being very diverse, progressive, and forward-thinking. Not unlike the universities I had originally hoped to get into. <laughs> and I think my luck's really turning around in American University. The girls there seem very warm, very open. I remember me and the girl agreed to go out for dinner together. Uh, she brought her friend along from her dorm hall. It was a very interesting evening. What made the evening look so interesting was that he actually asked her out right there. <laughs> I was at a party, and this girl said she was incredibly horny, and she'd have sex with the first guy she saw. And oh golly, she must have had a gigantic blind spot. <laughs> I and the girl were walking and talking, and we were really getting to know each other. And then she turned to me and said, I'd actually like to walk alone right now. <laughs> now, some men might be dispirited by that. <laughs> but not me, because I, I'm familiar with what they say, that you lose some battles and you win some others. And I've already lost quite a bit. <laughs> so I'm overdue for a win. <laughs> Um, I went to a party, and I, and I got drunk, and I, and I ran into a girl, and we actually agreed to go out for dinner the following day. Um, people say that all a man really needs is confidence, and I think drinking gave me that confidence. Um, but it also has its drawbacks, because uh, I was so drunk I forgot to ask when and where we were going to go out for dinner. And the next morning I had a bit of trouble remembering her name. So I went to all my friends and asked them if they knew in Ayala or in Yellow. <laughs> or in Alina. <laughs> or in Anala. <laughs> or in Ayayo. <laughs> um, and, and none of them did. <laughs> So I asked them if maybe they remember it in Inala. <laughs> or in Anna, Emma, Aaliyah, Abba, Alala, or Ali. And uh, they didn't recognize any of the names I gave them. Which was surprising, seeing as I gave them a lot of names. <laughs> So at around 5 p.m., I headed out in the general direction that dinner might be occurring. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And I couldn't find I, I, I couldn't find her. This was a shame because she was a real great girl from what I can remember. Um, but then one day, I, I, I see her sitting with a friend of hers in my university's dining hall, and I walk over to her, and she says, Oh, hey, Ace. I, I'm talking with a friend right now, but I can't, really, I can't really chat. And I say to her, My name's actually pronounced Isa, but it's perfectly okay for one person to forget how to pronounce another person's name. <laughs> Especially a name like Isa, which both starts and ends with a vowel. Uh, she says, yeah, well, bye. Uh, and in that instance, I realize I need to keep the conversation going long enough for me to figure out her name. So I say, you know, Isa is an interesting name. You know, it can be pronounced Isa, Ace, Ice, I-E-C. Asia, and she says, you know, I, say, I am talking to a friend right now, and I say, you know, it could be pronounced Asha, Ashia. Uh, all my friends in high school just called me Isis. Uh, a gym coach once called me Alice, but I'm not really sure where I got that from. And. And she said, you know, I, said, I think I remember you talking a lot less at that party. I think I liked you better back then. So, and I said, you know, how about your name? You know, it can be pronounced a lot of ways. It can be pronounced Ayella, Yellow, Anna, Oina. And she, and, and she says to me, I said, I find you incredibly annoying. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to speak to you ever again. <laughs> so please leave. <laughs> and I say, okay, before I go, is it Alina, maybe? <laughs> Emma? Uh, you've been an above average audience. <laughs>